What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the best Pete Maravich builds. Now, Pistol Pete's game revolved around two things, being a great shooter and a great ball handler. Not really a great playmaker, but he used to throw crazy eye-catching passes. Uh, after setting crazy records in scoring at LSU, including his still standing record as the all-time leading scorer in D1 history, Maravich started his career with the Hawks. Joining a team that featured two big scorers in Walt Bellamy and Sweet Lou Hudson, the three struggled to gel at first, but by their third season, Hudson and Pete were a tandem that became the second pair of teammates that scored 2,000 points in a single season. Unfortunately, it didn't lead to many wins in the playoffs, as they lost to the Celtics in the first round. In 1975, a new expansion team in New Orleans called the Jazz was looking for a huge star to build around and made the flip of four draft picks and two players for Pete Maravich. The trade in retrospect was lopsided because two of the picks Atlanta got back were Hall of Fame caliber players in David Thompson and Alex English, but neither ended up playing for Atlanta. The pistol exploded in New Orleans, leading the league in scoring in 1977. However, knee problems started to affect him, and in his six-year tenure, they never made it to the playoffs. His final season saw the Jazz make the move to Utah, but by that point, he was a shell of himself. He was waived and signed with the Celtics in 1980 and saw the playoffs one last time before retiring. Had he stayed with the Celtics one more year, he would have been a champion, but he retired due to his chronic knee pain. Pistol Pete famously said in an interview in 1974 that he didn't want to play 10 years and die of a heart attack at 40. Eerily enough, that's exactly what happened when he died at a pickup game in 1988 after playing 10 seasons in the league. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be shooting guard, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose 44, because even though he wore number 7 in Utah, 44 was just a better number for him in my opinion. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the green and yellow half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the speed invert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 83, your driving layup up to an 80, your driving knock up to a 46 and your post hook up to a 73. And that's gonna give you four finishing badges. For shooting, you're gonna max out your mid-range shot, max out your three-point shot, and max out your free throw, and bring your post fade up to a 51. And that's gonna give you 22 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna bring your pass accuracy up to the max, max out your ball handle, and bring your post moves up to a 62. And that's gonna give you 23 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna bring your primitive defense up to a 75, your lateral quickness up to a 75, your steal up to a 70, and you're gonna spend the rest on defensive rebound. And that's gonna give you three defense and rebounding badges. So four finishing, 22 shooting, 23 playmaking, and three defense and rebounding badges is a total of 52 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be 6'5", weight is going to be 197 pounds, that was his actual height and weight. And for the wingspan, you're going to bring it down to 78.8 inches. So with 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 85, an 84 driving layup, a 50 driving dunk, and a 76 post hook. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 96 mid-range shot, a 93 three-point shot, a 94 free throw, and a 55 post fade. For your playmaking, you're going to have a 92 pass accuracy, an 89 ball handle, and a 65 post moves. And for your defense and rebounding, you're going to have a 78 perimeter defense, a 78 lateral quickness, a 72 steal, and a 69 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym at badge are going to be 91 for speed, 89 for acceleration, 82 for vertical, and 53 for strength. For the takeover, realistically speaking, you can go with any of the takeovers. It really doesn't matter. He was a great shooter. And like I said in the intro, he was a great ball handler and a great, uh, he threw crazy flashy passes. Plus, he had a little bit of slasher in him, especially uh, when he was younger, before he had all the knee injuries. So, again, doesn't really matter. Uh, his ball handling is a little bit low, so I'm just going to go with the playmaker takeover, though. And the build is complete, and you have built a playmaking shot creator, shades of Pete Maravich, CJ McCollum, and Devin Booker. Now, for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're going to put Acrobat on silver and Slither finisher on silver. For your shooting badges, you're going to put Cat and Shoot on gold, Clutch Shooter on silver, Corner Specialist on silver, Dead Eye on gold, Difficult Shots on gold, Hot Zone Hunter on gold, Range Extender on gold, 
and steady shooter on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're going to put ankle breaker on gold, flashy passer on hall of fame, lob city passer on gold, needle threader on gold, quick first step on gold, space crater on gold, tight handles on gold, and unpluckable and unpluckable on bronze. And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put them all on interceptor. All right, everyone, this has been the best Pete Maravich build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel. So you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests. So if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.